Hi everyone, Michael Barbieri here for MB Food Ant. Today we are on 8th Avenue and West 4th Street. We're at this beautiful, cute little shop called Antreme. It's a little bake shop. They do afternoon teas here and they have some of the most beautiful little entremets that I've ever seen. So we're going to go inside, we're going to try some of them, and we're going to bring it all to you. So stick with us because it's going to be delicious. <music> Okay, here we are inside Antreme. I've been wanting to come here for a while and I came this close to ordering one of everything because they have these beautiful little cakes, these beautiful little entremets. And uh, everything looked amazing. Had to narrow it down to a few. So because it's close to Easter, I'm going to start with this one. This is the bunny cheesecake. and. <laughs> It's almost a shame to have to wreck it by eating it, but I'm sure it's delicious. So let's give it a try. <laughs> that's, that's fabulous. That's really, really good. That is one of the creamiest cheesecakes I've ever tried and it's cool and smooth and not too sweet which again I really like a lot so next up we're trying the yuzu matcha cake both of which I like I'm, I'm a big fan of yuzu uh, and I love matcha so and look how beautiful that is got a little little piece of cake on top of it it's just gorgeous and the shine, the, the, the mirror glaze is just, just insanely beautiful. So give it a try. Wow. Oh my God. That's, that's fabulous as well. Again, not too sweet. It has a little texture to it. And you can see the layers inside. No, again, that's really, really wonderful. It's not, not too tart from the yuzu, and it's also not too matcha forward. So that is really, that's really wonderful. It's a Next up, we have the banana chocolate caramel. Pretty self-explanatory as to what's in it. So take a look. It's just beautiful. It's Wow. <laughs> At first I wasn't sure what to think. You can taste the chocolate. You can definitely taste the banana. Uh, it's a little denser than the other cakes. But what it reminds me of more than anything else, I think, it reminds me of a really, really good bananas foster, almost. And that's, again, you can see the layers. That's terrific. Now, this next one is the black sesame cake. And uh, again, pretty self-explanatory. I like black sesame as a flavoring element for different foods and baked goods and such. So I'm going to give that a try. Mm. A little raspberry in there. Looks like it might have some matcha in it as well. Or here. This one is the lychee apricot cake. Again, just beautiful. Mm. Mm. That's good. My first impression was that it was the sweetest cake of the bunch that we've tried so far. Uh, but no, it's actually not too sweet. It's, it's just the perfect balance. The lychee is really, really bright. And, uh, and it just complements everything so well. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Yum. And now this one here is the blueberry 
lemon lavender. It's going to be interesting to see how those flavors all combine. I think the lemon and the lavender in particular should pair very well, but I'm going to give it a try. Also, I was told that the lychee apricot and this one are the two most popular flavors that they sell here. Mm. <laughs> mm. Wow. wow. That's, there's a real lusciousness to that. It's, <laughs> it's really good. The, the lemon gives it a brightness. The lavender, it's not very lavender forward, but I really do like it very much. That is really excellent. I can see why it's that popular. And then finally, this one is called passion. So as I'm assuming, passion fruit inside and passion fruit is one of my favorite elements and my favorite ingredients. So that's beautiful. So let's give it a try. Hmm. Yeah. I'm glad I saved that one for last because that's, that's phenomenal. The passion fruit isn't too overpoweringly tart. And there's just enough sweetness to balance it out. It's beautifully balanced. And yeah, really, really, really good. I'm really glad that I found this place. Although I have to admit, it might be a little bit dangerous because this is the kind of place I would want to come again and again and again and try everything and they actually do an afternoon tea service here as well which would be really wonderful sit here it's only got these three little tables but do the afternoon tea with some of these phenomenal little entremets and uh, a nice fresh pot of tea what could be better Wow, that was, in fact, really delicious. Everything we tried here at Entremé was wonderful. The Entremé themselves are beautiful. They taste as good, if not better, than they look. And everything was just so enjoyable. I would love to come back here. I would love to try their afternoon tea. I think that would be great fun. Uh, also, I found out that the reason the place is called Anne Treme is that the owner's name is Annabelle. So, Anne Treme. Very cute. Anyway, join us for our next video. We're going to go somewhere else. We're going to bring it all to you. And as always, it's going to be delicious.